Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the newest version of Kodi to your Fire Stick or Android TV device. The whole process is pretty simple and will, will take you only a couple of minutes. And the first step you gotta take is get the app code downloader. You can get the downloader free of charge from your official Amazon App Store. Just go to search on the Fire Stick, open your search bar, and start typing downloader in here. So that's what we are doing right now. And as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app. We click on Downloader, and now that's the app that we gotta get to your device. But after you got Downloader, it's actually not over yet, because you still have to set it up. So now to set up Downloader, we'll need to go to the settings by clicking this little button with a gear icon, and then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. You open it, and now in here, you'll have to turn on developer options for the Fire Stick. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire TV Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry, because it's pretty easy to make one appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote and do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it will say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. Open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, then go to install on apps, and from here, all we have to do is locate downloader and turn this option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now we go back to the list of apps near Firestick. Here it is, we open it and there is the downloader which is set up and ready to use on your Fire Stick. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say it will connect to Romania right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is gonna be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online, and that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get a free month of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. And now we go back to the list of apps on your Fire Stick, locate downloader, and finally open it up. And when the loader opens, just go straight to the search bar and start typing in the link, which will be Kodi.tv. So we enter the link and click on go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel, so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks. And then a website is going to pop up for you. So on the website, you just have to click that little sandwich button and then go straight to the download page. So click on download, and then a new web page will open up for you. So we scroll down until you see the Android logo, 
click on a trade and then scroll down again until you see the ARM v7a version of the app or 32-bit version. So let's click on it and now the download of the newest Kodi version should start for you. Usually it does not take long but of course it all depends on your connection speed. And then after the app is downloaded of course you also have to install it to your device so we click install and just wait for the Kodi to finish installing to your Fire TV stick. And after that, don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way you get an option to delete the installation files, as you don't really need them anymore on your device. So click on delete, and then delete once again. This way you save yourself some free space on your Fire Stick. And that's pretty important, because by default, your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much of free space available anyway. And then let's go back to the list of applications on your Fire TV stick. We open it and here at the bottom you will find the Kodi app. So first of all, I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way the app will always be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's gonna be pretty easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. So enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.